The legislature just has two weeks left before they adjourn for the year. That means there is a lot at stake in the next two weeks, with hundreds of new law proposals yet to face their final votes. The CRA advocacy team is busy directly lobbying lawmakers on dozens of proposals that impact the restaurant community as well as the larger employer community. Many of the remaining proposals were approved by committees of the State Assembly and State Senate, which means they now move forward to the full Assembly and Senate. If they pass their next step, they make it to the governor's desk for his approval or rejection. One of the most alarming pieces of legislation is a bill that would force employers to pay even higher unemployment insurance costs to subsidize striking workers. Keep in mind, the purpose of the UI fund is to help those who have lost jobs through no fault of their own, not to pay for those who chose to strike as a means to apply economic pressure against their employers. Now, SB 799, introduced by Assemblymember Anthony Portentino, proposes to provide UI benefits to those who choose not to work because they are in the midst of a labor dispute with their own employer. Having non-union employers pay for striking workers of union employers is beyond misguided and will recklessly add to the enormous deficit of the state's UI fund. In fact, the UI fund is completely broke, with an approximate $18 billion deficit, largely due to the COVID-19 pandemic and statewide shutdown that it caused. That means California employers are already paying increased UI taxes according to federal law and are likely to face ongoing tax increases until approximately 2032. The CRA and other employer groups have lobbied for years to get the state to start paying down this debt. The state has chosen not to act in any meaningful way. If SB 799 becomes law, it will create a drastically unfair landscape. A landscape where all of you are paying higher UI costs, not just because of the ongoing debt of the UI fund, but also to cover the costs of labor disputes that you have absolutely nothing to do with. This proposal needs to be stopped, and we need your help. Please respond to the voter voice calls to action in your inbox that will allow you to easily and quickly send your objections to your lawmakers before they vote on the proposal. As always, you can see the full chart of pending legislation that our advocacy team is lobbying on daily in the state capitol by visiting the link in the description below. Remember, our list of hot bills is a member exclusive, and you have to be logged into our website to view it. That's the news you need to know. Thanks for watching.